What's up guys, this is Yasu, welcome back to my channel, you're watching Yasu's FitFrag and today I'm going to talk about some more releases from the brand Afia. So if you haven't watched my previous videos on Afia perfumes, they actually make some great quality clones of some expensive brands. Sometimes they also create fragrances of their own. So if you haven't watched the previous series of Afia perfumes, I will give you all the links in the video description box, you can check it out. I'll also give you all the purchase option and the links in the video description box. Today I'll be talking about four more fragrances from Afia. Two of them are very new releases and that is Amor and Beehive which is very recently launched. So I'll start with Amor anyways this time as well. They made the presentation really class and something very unique. This is Afia Amor. You see the Afia printing here, Amor written here. The base has these details. Bottle also looks super class, guys. This definitely looks very unique. Even if you compare with any designer or niche, I haven't seen any sort of fragrances or the name printing than this way. This is definitely unique. So Amor, this is a 50 ml which costs around 1750 extra to perform concentration. This is a fresh fragrance, a fruity fragrance, opens up with a nice minty orangey accord. And also gives that bubblegum feel which you can perfectly wear for the summer daytime. The mid has some fruity feel along with ambergris and mash. So overall this is a very nice fragrance. It does not remind me of any designer or niche from the fresh category from what I've tried. It definitely is different but I wouldn't say it is completely unique because the notes character has some resemblance of this and that but it is not pinpoint to any fragrance. So it is definitely not a clone so it is done very well. Very nice fresh fruity fragrance with that minty orangey accord with some ambergris and musk. Goes perfectly for the summers. Very attractive in the opening. After five to six hours, you only get that musk and woody accord. So you may feel that it does not last, but it actually gave me a decent lasting of eight hours. And now eight hours for a fresh fragrance is definitely great in my opinion. But most fresh fragrance make people nose blind very soon so you may or may not sense the performance until 8 hours. So coming to number 2 is something very interesting and that is called not a perfume. Okay, This is actually inspired by a niche fragrance from Juliet Has a Gun which is also named as not a perfume. Now the name says it all guys, it is not a perfume which means you won't be able to sense anything. It does not smell like a perfume. This is completely done with an experimental mindset, which means it acts more like airy scent, which means it is ambroxan based. So if you've heard my reviews on few other fragrances like of Havas, which also uses ambroxan, there are many other fresh fragrances like Swiss Cerebin, Pure Instinct, there is Ganymede. All these fragrances play around this ambroxan character. There is Bulgari Tiger, which also is ambroxan dominant. Now this is plain ambroxan. They played around with that ambroxan with some slight floral and that mild woody feel which is actually the character of ambroxan. It gives that aquatic feel. It gives that slight mild white floral feel. It also gives that mild woody feel and I love fragrances which has ambroxan unless and until that ambroxan gets too dominant and kind of gives a pricky feel because some people get throat itching, some people get brain itching. I do get that brain itching with Bulgari Tiger, the Ambroxan used in that is super heavy and it gives me that brain scratching feel. Ambroxan can react differently to different people but some people don't get any reaction at all. So if you buy this only if you are deep into fragrances because do not blind buy and then blame it on me saying you told me this, you told me that I don't smell anything, it is just plain water. I am sure. People who do not understand fragrance are going to come at this because it does smell like plain water. Okay, Ambroxan has that character. It is airy, it gives that aquatic feel, give that slight floral feel, slight woody feel. But beginners would say it just smells like water or it is just water. So do not buy this if you don't understand fragrances. Buy this if you love Ambroxan. Okay, this is only for Ambroxan lovers. Now let me tell you how exactly this smells. In case you have smelled Dolce Gabbana light blue or intense which is women's. I'm not saying this smells like that. But if you have smelled the dry down of this one which is after five to six hours. It does give that slight white floral feel. 
slight aquatic feel it's all airy and beautiful that is exactly what this one smells okay right from the start i'm talking about this after five to six hours the dry down this smells like that from the beginning cross around 1500 for a 50 ml in case you have heard of molecule o1 from jeremy fragrance that is what this one is all about okay even if you want the oil version you get it for 320 they do have oil version as well which is of 6 ml so check it out in case you do not remember my favorite fragrance from afia it is this black saffron guys i absolutely absolutely love this one this is still my number one i initially showed you the other version which is top class Okay, I've tried black saffron inspired version from two to three sellers in India, but this stands out, guys. Absolute favorite. I get compliments with this even after 12 hours. Uh, it is done to perfection in my opinion that I never bothered to get the original. Okay, now coming in at number two is Beehive from Afia. Again, look at the presentation. This is something super unique. You see Beehive packaging here which is done in deep yellow which again looks beautiful i think the name itself should give you an idea as to what it is yes this is a honey based fragrance but it is not that syrupy sort of honey which you get in niche brands okay which i hate i'll be honest that syrupy sort of honey note which, which they use in niche brand is something that i hate this is done super smooth one of the best honey fragrance i can simply say because this honey note definitely is not syrupy, not that overly done sweet. This is perfectly balanced. But let me tell you again, it doesn't stop with honey. It also has some coconutty accords, some ginger spiciness, some frankincense, some vanilla and sandalwood. Overall, this is a beautiful fragrance. But in the opening, along with that honey and ginger spiciness, when you dig your nose up close, you may or may not like it. It is slightly complex when you smell it up close. But let me tell you, in the air, it smells fantastic guys and there is no fragrances that have smelled like this one so it is definitely unique to my nose unless you have smelled the original beehive from zoologist so this is an inspired version of bee from zoologist i haven't smelled that original so i do not know how it is so to me this one smells definitely unique it is very interesting in the air even if you do not like it when you smell it up close Avoid doing that because some fragrances are best when it smells in the air. Okay, so it's not that you're not, practically speaking, you're not going to wear fragrances and keep digging your nose throughout the time when you go outdoors, right? So sometimes you have to wear fragrance with that understanding as well that it is going to smell fantastic in the air. This is a perfect winter fragrance. Do not try it in the summers. It smells fantastic in the cooler weather. So this is slightly expensive, costs around 2000 for a 50 ml or if you want to go for the oil version, it costs around 480 Okay, so that's Beehive. So these two are the new releases in case you want me to specify on the new releases and this is how their packaging looks. But I have kept something else on number one because and that's not a new release and that's not something that you would be hearing for the first time. But let me tell you, Afia has just nailed it just like how they nailed black saffron like i said this is the best inspired version of Byrodo black saffron that i've ever tried similarly this is the best inspired version of tom ford tobacco oud that i've ever tried hands down guys i'm not just trying to hype it for the sake of it i honestly have the original as well in this decant so original has more depth to it but original is not easy to wear okay that ooh the cord is definitely animalic it's smoky you can watch jeremy's video saying where he gets negative reactions with with original tom for tobacco oud okay because the oud here is not really like hindi oud or cambodian oud it is smoky it is a bit animalic and i personally don't enjoy this i love hindi oud but it is not hindi oud here they have used something else i do not know what the oud is definitely animalic and skanky in the original but the reason why i praise this is this is done to perfection this is done to make it pleasing to the nose the oud here is not animalic at all but the oud here rather the dark woody accord 
is definitely done very rich. The tobacco is not overly smoky. It is perfectly balanced to make it smell very rich. And you also have some incense sort of cardamom, not really cardamom, but incense sort of cardamom along with patchouli, benzoin, cedarwood and sandalwood. Overall, this is done perfectly as an inspired version, at least in my opinion. I wouldn't say that it matches exactly like the original because the oud in the original is definitely very animalic, not easy to wear. They have twisted and made their own turns and formulation to balance that probably or it would have like a shikari shampoo, I do not know. But considering that black saffron is one of the best that they have created, I would still say that he has created it to perfection. This is definitely the best inspired version of Tom Ford Tobacco Oud that I have tried. It smells so rich guys, it does not smell animalic skanky at all. If you like the dark fragrances which has that nice rich tobacco, non-smoky, non-offensive and that nice rich dark woody accord, nice rich dark patchouli along with some benzoin, sandalwood, cedarwood, this is a perfect fragrance that you have to try. This costs around 1130 or 1150 maybe less than that and the oil version costs around 300 but definitely worth that price okay definitely worth that price in my opinion this is the best version of tom ford tobacco i think i repeated that so many times so sorry about that but i'm really impressed with tom ford tobacco wood in this particular video because just like i hype black saffron because that's the best creation from all the inspired versions that i've tried tobacco is also the best creation of all the inspired versions that I've tried. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in case you've tried any of these. Comment down in the comment section. See you next time soon. Keep sharing the videos. Cheers.